I want to say a pleasant good night to all those of you that are tuning in to this program at this time. Program entitled Christ and Him Crucified. This is a weekly program that's been aired on MTV at about this time every Sunday evening. Therefore, I want to thank the management team of this television station for the opportunity to be here and of course to come to share in the gospel the good news to all our listeners locally regionally and internationally it is truly a joy to be here to share in God's Word with all those of you that are listening at this time let us pray mighty father we honor you, we glorify you, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Again, we are here in your presence this evening to declare your mighty word to the people. Father, I pray that everything that would be said and done here would be done according to your will and according to your way and your plan. We honor you and we glorify you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and Amen. Brethren, tonight I want to share from the Old Testament, Joshua chapter 1. I'm going to read three verses, verse 7, 8, and 9. For 7 reads, Only be strong. And very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest verse 8 this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. And verse 9, Have not I commanded thee, be strong of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither thou be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Brethren, I want to speak to us this evening on the topic. Obedience to God's word will benefit us. Obedience to God's word will benefit us. Brethren, as we journey through this life, as we go through this world, it is very important for all of us to follow God's word. When Joshua was summoned by God, to take up duties after Moses died God told him to be strong and courageous and the same commandments that I have given to Moses back there the same words that I uttered to Moses back there I want you to follow them I want you to be there all the time to see what I will do for you as your journey begins. 
You see, God is showing to him, to him that I will not change. I am going to be the same God just as I did with Moses. Joshua, I am going to be with you. So, brethren, once we follow the words, and God said to Joshua, once you follow the words that I am going to give to you, you will surely be all right as you take up this big responsibility to lead my people. And so in our text tonight, God pointed out three benefits that Joshua will see once God's law or God's word is followed. Once we follow his word, we are going to see three benefits just as God told Joshua he is going to get. The first point of benefit of God's word is prosperity. Verse 7. Verse 7 tells us, Only thou be strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand, nor turn to the left hand, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. In other words, brethren, God was saying here to Joshua, prosperity is in my words. Prosperity is in my commandments. Prosperity is in my statutes. And I gave it to Moses. And you too, Joshua, I want you to follow it. But there is something, something important that I want you to pay attention to, um, Joshua. I don't want you to deviate from my word. I don't want you to divert from my word. I don't want you to turn to the left. I don't want you to turn to the right. These are instructions that God would have given to Joshua. You see, brethren, there's a lot of things out there that would attract mankind. You look to your right and you look to your left and the kinds of attractions or the things that are out there, they tend to catch your attention. And when they catches your attention, then you find that you might drift away from what you should focus on. So God tell him, don't drift at all. Don't go to your left or to right. If you do that, then you will not prosper. The same thing God is saying to us, brethren. If we as believers in this life focus on God, don't turn away from God, we are going to be reap prosperity. We will prosper. The devil tried his best to get Jesus Christ himself to move away or to divert from the things of God. In Matthew chapter 4, Jesus was hungry, came out from praying, came from the wilderness. He was hungry. The scripture tells us that the devil they didn't say to Jesus, hey, I have food for you. No, but he said to him, the devil didn't say to Jesus, if you're hungry, turn the stones into bread, you know. But he said to him, if thou be the son of God. Brethren, that's what the devil is going to say to us as believers. If you are a Christian, if you are a believer, if you are a blood wash child of God, then... I want you to do such thing because I want to prove if you are really a child of God. The devil said to Jesus, if thou be the son of God, he wanted Jesus to obey him. The devil, brethren, will say to us all kinds of things that will, he wants us to obey his word. And he will say the same thing to us just as he said. But hear the response of Jesus when he said, look, I know you're hungry there. 
If thou be the son of God, turn the stone into bread. Jesus' response was, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Almighty God. He said it is written. You see, he didn't use his word. Jesus uses the word of God and says, it is written. Brethren, this is what we have to use in these trying times today in the world. We use the word of God, be obedient to the word of God if we are to overcome the pressures, the challenges that we are facing in this life. And Jesus said, and then he came and he said to Jesus again, he wanted Jesus to throw himself down. And the angels, he said, look, if you throw, if you're the son of God, then throw yourself down. And the angels of the Lord will hold you up. And, and Jesus' reply was, again it is written, don't tempt the Lord thy God. You see, brethren, what the devil was doing here, he was trying to divert. He was trying to get Jesus to move away from God. Prosperity lies in obedience to God's word. Not only obedience to God's word will benefit us, will prosper us, one of the benefits. But the second thing, when we obey God's word, the second thing that will happen, not only prosperity, but according to verse 8 of our text, it will bring success. Brethren, success lies in the obedience to you as a, an, an individual being obedient to God's commandments. Verse 8 tells us, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For there thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Brethren, good success comes as a result of meditating on God's word. Day and night, observe to do all that God instructs us to do. That's how our success is going to come. I am sure everyone wants success in life. All of us want to be successful in life. Success is the ability to get what we want or what we intended for. What kind of accomplishment we want in life? What kind of goals in life? We set it and it comes and we have success. I don't care, brethren, what you say to me, but I'm saying to us tonight, based on God's word, that the only way success can come to us is when we are obedient to God's word word that's what the scripture tells us the psalmist david said in psalm 119 and verse 105 he says thy word is a lamp you see brethren this is what would cause us to see where we are going the word of god we don't want to be like the waves of the sea but we want to focus on god and we know that the lord is going to guide us to the path where he wants us to go. The psalmist David said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It means that the word of God will light up wherever I am going, wherever you are going to trod. Let me tell you, the word of God will pave a way and open and show you the way. I call it the three L's. Lamp, light, and life to be successful in this life we have to let the word of god be a lamp and a light unto our feet in proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23 
He says, therefore, the commandment is a lamp. And the law is light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Brethren, one of the benefits of obeying God's word is that it will bring us success. How many of us want success in life? Everybody would say, Pastor, I want success. But I am saying to you tonight that true success comes from the word of God. And not only that the word of God would benefit us, prosperity will come our way. Not only the word of God will benefit us by bringing, making us, giving us prosperity and success. But thirdly, the word of God, brethren, God's presence is going to be always with us when we be obedient to the word of God. His presence is going to be with us. Verse 9 tells us that. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither thou be dismayed. For the, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whether thou, whithersoever thou goest. Friends, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wonderful to know that the presence of God is going to be with all of us wherever we go? I am happy to know that when I am in the garden, the presence of the Lord is with me. I am happy to know that when I am at home, the presence of the Lord is with me. I am happy to know that when I'm on a plane, traveling to any country, the presence of the Lord is with me. I am happy to know if I am on, on a beach, the presence of the Lord is there with me. Look at the psalmist again, says in Psalm 139, he says, the presence of the Lord is everlasting. It is everywhere. He says, if I ascend in heaven, your presence is there. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. He says, if I make my bed in hell, oh God, you are there. He says, if I take the wings of, of, of morning and dwell in the uttermost parts, of the sea. Lord you are there. Brethren who could hide from God? Nobody. Nobody. There is no hiding place. On this earth. For mankind. Anywhere you go. The Lord. Eyes and his presence. Is with you. Isn't it wonderful to know. That he will not leave us. That God will not forsake us. I am. Thrilled, brethren, to, to, to say to us tonight that the presence of God in our lives makes a difference. The presence of God in our lives gives us the right things to see. The presence of God in our lives will take us to the right place where we are going to go and worship and fellowship with Almighty God. Isn't it wonderful, brethren, for us to know that in all our frustrations and stressed out situations, he can bring rest to us? Why? Because his presence is there. Brethren, isn't it wonderful to know that in our storms of life, God can come and say to us, my son, my daughter, peace be still. There is no storms of this life that will crush us. There's no storms of this life that will blow us away. No, because the presence of God is with us. Isn't it, isn't it wonderful, brethren, for us to know that in our sleepless night, when we're struggling on the bed and, and, and we're fighting to get some sleep in our sleepless night, with the presence of God, 
with us that joy can come in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That's what the presence of God can do in somebody's life, in your life tonight. Isn't it wonderful to know, brethren, that in my losses, a lot of us suffer losses today. We lose loved ones. We lose monies. We lose friends. Eh? We lose homes. We lose property. But I am happy to tell you in the presence of all those losses, it is wonderful to know that if I die and all I lose and all that I'm going to lose in Christ, the presence of God, it is gain. I gain. So no one can gain on me. Because Christ brings prosperity, Christ brings success, and Christ brings to us his presence in our lives. I am happy to tell you tonight, brethren, you too can enjoy the success, you too can enjoy the prosperity, you too can enjoy the presence of God in your life. And let me tell you something. Don't run because God will see you. Anywhere you go, he will see you. And don't think anything otherwise because the Bible tells us that the Lord knows even our thoughts. Even what we are thinking right now, the Lord knows. And what we are thinking about tomorrow, God knows. That's the God we are serving. But I want to tell you tonight, if you can give your life to the Lord and let the Lord be your guide, I can assure you. Let the word of God take charge of your life and be obedient to God's word. I can assure you, brethren, that you are going to be prosperous, you are going to be successful, and the presence of God is going to be with you wherever, wherever you go. One of the songwriters puts it this way. Sing them over again to me, wonderful words of life. Let me more of thy beauty see, wonderful words of life. Words of life and beauty, teach me faith and duty. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Christ the blessed one gives to all, all because of the wonderful words of life. Sinner list to the loving call, wonderful words of life. Also freely given, win us to heaven. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. The last verse of that song says, Sweetly echo the gospel call. Wonderful words of life. Offer pardon and peace to all. Wonderful words of life. Jesus only Savior. Sanctify forever. Wonderful words. Beautiful words. Wonderful words of life. Lovely, beautiful song. Supporting the fact that it's the word of God that will triumph over any situation. Telling us that it's the word of God that would cause us to profit in this life. It is the word of God that would cause us, brethren, to reap success in this life. And it's the word of God that would cause the presence of God to live in all of us. Tonight, I want to advertise to you the benefits of obeying God's word. I want to tell you, brethren, 
You will try all kinds of things. You will go many, many places. You're going to go and meet all kinds of people. But there is only one thing that can bring the prosperity, can bring the success and the presence of God in your life is the word of God. All we need to do, brethren, is to be obedient to his word. What about you tonight? As you sit and you look and you hear from God's word, just as God told Joshua, God is saying to you tonight, don't be afraid. I've given you the instructions through my word. Follow my word. I want to tell somebody tonight, you've been there and you've been struggling. You've been looking around. You've been trying all for years now and or maybe weeks or months. You've been trying, looking for some answer. The word of God has the answer for you tonight. Be obedient to it, and it surely will take you through whatever situation. I have seen it worked in the lives of people, and you tonight, God can reach out to you, touch your life, and change you through his word, and cause you to prosper, cause you to have success, and cause you to have the presence of God living in you always. If you are there, I'm going to pray. And I just want you to focus on God and let the Lord do the work in your life. Let us pray. Mighty and eternal Father, your word is forever settled in heaven. And I can try everything in this life, but nothing will be successful except your word. Lord, I ask you tonight, there is someone sitting, listening to this message, and realizing that I need the presence of God in my life, realizing that I need to prosper in this life, realizing that I need success in this life, Oh God, tonight as they sit before you and they open themselves, I ask, oh God, to come into their life. Oh God, I ask you, Holy Spirit, to touch someone in the name of Jesus right now and let their life be changed. Oh God, you proclaim in your word, you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever, and you will never change. Oh God, you declare in your word that you know the hearts and the minds and the thoughts of every human being. Oh God, I ask today to lead them to the cross where they will find that success, they will find that prosperity, they will find themselves closer to your throne and to your cross, oh God. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus, touch a life tonight who might be going through some situations, oh God, where they are crying night and day. Father, you said in your word, if we follow your word, we're going to cry night and day to you. Father, you are going to bring that peace in our lives. Father, that person tonight needs peace, Lord. That person tonight, oh God, need that love. Oh God, that person tonight, oh God, need that happiness. Oh God, if they can find it through your word right now. We call on you to intervene and touch their life. Oh God, see them through in all that they are going to do. Lord, let them rejoice and be glad because you are Lord of their life. Thank you and bless them. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, dear, dear listeners. I want to thank you for tuning in tonight. And if this program has been a blessing to you tonight, you can call me at telephone numbers 416-1751 or 444-8281. And I want you to share your blessing with me so I can rejoice with you. Or... You may visit me or visit the church at non Pearl Open Bible Church. We have service at 9.30 a.m. every Sunday morning. You can pay a visit there. We can see and we can talk. I want you to 
realize that this program, Jesus Christ and Him crucified, is where we bring the gospel into your room, into your house, into your, into your kitchen, into your living room. We bring the gospel so that you can see that God is still saving people. God is still healing people. I wish to thank every one of you tonight for listening and pray God that you're going to tune in again next week Sunday, God's willing, for another program, Jesus Christ and Him Crucified. You have a good night. This is Pastor Kelly Gangadin wishing you all the best. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. Lord bless you and keep you Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn.